Hello parents, uh, Mr Tucker here and just a really quick video demonstration and tutorial on how to access the children's Google accounts whilst at home. So I'm just going to open up a new tab just for the sake of this because it won't conflict with, with my Google account. So imagine you're just opening up a web browser, whether it's um, Safari on iPads or whether it's Chrome on, on other um, systems that you can use. I like to personally use laptops or Chromebooks because it, it makes it a lot easier to navigate, but you can use tablets at home if needs be. And all you need to do is go on to google.com and you'll get the Google home page just here. Now, if you press sign in, it will come up with the sign into your Google account page. And all you need to do there is type in your child's Google account. For example, for Joe Blogs, it would be Joe B. And then you would have at springcottage.hull.sch.uk. One of the main problems that we're finding, uh, children are finding with signing in, is remembering this part, which is crucial. If you forget this part, then it won't let you sign in for everyone down the line. So for example, I'm going to put mine in. My staff one is slightly different because it has my first initial and last name. And then you are required to enter your password and then log into your Google account. Now, the good thing is once you've logged into your Google account, you can access different applications on here. So you can access Google Classroom, which you'll be using. Um, you can also access Google Meet, um, which we also will be doing uh, while school is closed. There'll be a weekly Google Meet with myself, um, so you are able to ask any questions about working in technology. You're able to also look at calendar for any upcoming events uh, to create documents, spreadsheets, or slideshows as well. But more importantly, you can access your Google Drive, and that is where all your child's work will be stored. If I click on the Classroom tab, it takes you directly to classroom.google.com, and then you are able to access your class stream from there. Now, there are a lot of classes up there because I can see every class available in school. However, your child should only be able to just see their class. Okay, they will already be part of their class, and this is their class stream. So their class stream is essentially the work or the post that the teacher is posting for you to complete at home. So there's the quick tutorial on how to access your child's Google account at home. If there are any questions, feel free to contact the office or Mr. Rhodes or myself.